Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sped here, hope you're all good. So a few weeks ago, Ernie Ball sent me out a really awesome welcome pack with loads of cool stuff in it. Going through the box, I realized that they'd sent me one of every type of regular Slinky. So I had a look online and I can't find a video where somebody has compared every set of regular Slinky one after the other. That must mean that there's nobody on the internet. That's insane. So I shot this video over three days. Uh, reason being, I didn't want to change the strings on my guitar eight times in a row in the same day. And I also wanted to stretch them in a little bit more so that I could give you more honest representation of the tone and the stability, etc. So I said my guitar, but I won't actually be using my guitar today. I'm going to be using a Music Man Cutlass in stealth black. It looks like something Batman would wield. It's awesome. And I want to give a big shout out to the guys over at Strings and Things, Music Man Only Ball, for sending it over. The reason that I wanted to use this guitar is because it's got a humbucker in the bridge and then it's got two single coils. So I'm not going to be doing any coil tapping, anything like that. It's going to be genuine uh, humbucker and genuine single coil sound. So, you know, people play different types of guitar. They're going to have different expectations of the sound. Hopefully I've kind of mixed it up enough for you all. So I recorded the same riffs eight times in a row, eight different sets of strings, and then I went back and chopped them up and put them all next to each other. I'm not going to talk through any of it because you can let the strings do the talking. Use your ears, see what you think. And then we'll have a little chat at the end and I'll tell you what I thought of the way that they actually feel under the fingers as well, because I think that's really important. I did my best. I hope you like the playing. There's some clean stuff, some fancy stuff, some wiggly, wiggly, wiggly stuff. Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. I've never restrung a guitar eight times in three days before, and I'm sure neither of you have either. Anyway, let's go. <laughs>
I hope I did that justice. I didn't want to underplay, I didn't want to overplay. I wanted it to be about the strings and the guitar and let you decide what you think of the strings. But obviously I don't want you to think I'm pushing these on you, like you need to get them. In my opinion, they are the best strings. You might say I'm biased because I recently became an artist, but I already use them anyway. What I'm doing is putting together a cool video working with Ernie Ball and giving you some insight into the different types of strings that you can get. I actually didn't know about some of the packs that you could get. I'd always just bought regulars or Cobalts. I'd never tried the M Steels or the RPS. I'd never tried the Paradigms. I'm gonna give you some quick bullet points on what I thought of each pack. I might be mad. You know, I did do eight packs in a row. You might not agree when you come to try them yourself, but I'm just being honest and giving you my opinion. Every single set that I played felt familiar which I think is really important. There were slight differences in the way that they felt. Tuning stability was great straight away, and there was genuine tonal differences between the different sets of strings. I'm assuming that you've all tried a set of regular slinkies, whether it be nines, tens, or whatever. They're the most familiar feeling strings for me. I really liked the way the cobalts felt. I thought that they were like soft to touch, and they made bending feel a little bit easier, like they had more give. So after the cobalts, I tried the M steels. I thought they were really awesome. They were loud. They had a lot of bass and they, they felt really soft. String bending didn't feel like an effort. I don't know whether that's just me freaking out a little bit, but like in a good way, it was a really soft touch alloy and they just played really nicely. I have briefly tried other brands of coated string before and I always complain to one friend in particular actually who uses those strings, Churd. Anyway, I always complained. I felt like the string tension was different. I felt like you had to work a little bit more to, to bend, and I just I just wasn't a fan of coated strings. So the only ball coated slinkies don't feel any different to play in terms of tension. I can't really give you any feedback in terms of longevity just because I took them off. In terms of output and EQ, very comparable to just a regular set of slinkies. The idea is that they just last a little bit longer. I very, very rarely snap strings. I think in all the years playing live, I snapped a string once at Satan's Hollow in Manchester. I blame the devil for that. That wasn't my doing. And maybe at home just once a year if I just get a bit lazy and don't change strings on my Les Paul or whatever. I'd never even thought to try the RPS slinkies for that reason, but when I looked at them, I understand the technology behind it. And they look great. They felt super strong. I really, really stretched them in. Great tuning stability. And again, they just felt like regular slinkies, which I think is the most important thing here, that every set of 
link he's felt familiar like I said but they've just all got different purposes if you're doing a lot of lead stuff maybe look at the cobalts the M steels if you're snapping a lot of strings maybe look at the RPS the paradigms so I saved the paradigms to last I was super excited to try these I wanted to see how fresh they stayed after I shot the video and obviously I wanted to sort of test out the strength and make sure they don't break I've had them on for two weeks now since shooting the video they're still completely fresh I haven't snapped a string. I think once I'm finished my cobalt run, depending on how I get on with them, I'd probably look to go to the paradigms because they've got a guarantee. If you snap a string, they're gonna last longer than a normal set. They feel great, they sound great, a bit of a no-brainer. But yeah, that was my reason for leaving those two last. You should definitely go on their website, check out the different types of strings. Next time you go into a store, maybe try a different set. Something might be more suitable for your playing style. Hope you're all good. Hope you enjoyed my playing. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you soon.